Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I'm so glad you're here. And I want to wish every mother out there a most beautiful and wonderful Happy Mother's Day. Today we are going to be making a farmhouse coaster. I absolutely love this coaster. So easy to make using this rope that I got from um, Walmart. And it's a braided rope. And you'll see how we use that braided part of the rope later on but right now what you're going to do is while it's still on the roll you're going to take it and you're going to just start kind of wrapping it around to create the size of the coaster that you want and i do this with it on to try it's a lot easier to work with after we cut it so that's why I'm doing it this way. So right now with it on the roll, I'm just going to keep going around and around and around until I have the size. Once I have that size, I'm going to cut it off the roll. Like I said, this will make your life a lot easier than having to try to do this while pulling it off the roll. So we have the size rope you want. I'm not giving any dimensions or measurements here because everybody is going to make their own coaster to fit the decor that they have and to fit whatever you want to put on top of it. So if you're putting a planter, you might want to make it bigger, or if you're using it for a small plant or a coffee mug or anything like that, you're going to do the dimensions according to how big you want it. Makes sense, right? <laughs> and now this is a no fuss <laughs> coaster. So we're using hot glue. I'm using just regular glue sticks for this. I know, I think they sell fabric glue sticks. I don't know if that would give this um, a better hold. Regular glue sticks worked fine and dandy for me. So you use what you want. This part's a little time consuming, but in total, without me speeding up the video, this took me 15 minutes to do. So really not that bad. It's just you have to do a lot of stopping and starting. As you can see, I'm adding the hot glue on every inch of the rope that I'm rolling around because I want this to stay put. I want it to be nice and tight and secure. So as I add the hot glue, I'm going to be pulling the rope as tight as I can so it's nice and flush. And then I take my finger, and you're not going to burn yourself here, trust me. I did not burn myself once in the making of this video, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, after you pull your rope nice and taut, just take your finger around it and remove that excess hot glue that's coming in between. You're not going to burn yourself because by that time it is dry, trust me. I'm showing you right now. <laughs> And like I said, just keep wrapping it around until you use all of the rope that you cut. That's why we did the first step to pre-size this rope. Because like I said, it's so much easier having a cut rope than trying to do this off the roll. And just keep adding glue and keep going around. What are you guys doing today for Mother's Day? Oh my gosh. Um, my husband and son are taking me out for sushi tonight. And I'm so excited because I absolutely love sushi. But let me know in the comments below how you guys spent your Mother's Day. I hope you guys are all having a most blessed and wonderful day. You deserve it. So we're just going to keep going. I am going to speed this video up just a little bit. And we're going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, hot gluing as we go. Okay, so we've come to the final gluing of the rope and you're going to want to take your end and you're going to want to cut it on a bias. 
That way, when you glue that final piece of rope, it will be kind of flush. The ends will be flush with the existing circle that you've made. And by really taking your time and hot gluing every single piece of this, this really is pretty sturdy, durable. I don't think this thing is coming apart. Now, this is just a decor coaster. <laughs> this cannot go in the washing machine. So I wouldn't put anything on there that you might have a chance of it spilling <laughs> because you're not going to be able to wash this after. <laughs> So now we're gonna go back to our rope and we're gonna cut another piece of rope. We're gonna measure around the coaster. You can't do this first because depending on how big this ends up being, you want this rope to go all around. And I said at the beginning that I use rope that is braided. So that's gonna come into play because you're gonna cut another piece of rope and you're gonna separate the braid. So you're end, gonna end up with three much skinnier pieces. But what's neat about this is you're just using one rope for this whole project, which I absolutely love. So when you've separated the piece of rope, you're gonna measure little pieces depending on how long you want your pieces to hang off the side, okay? Of course, if you cut bigger pieces, it's a lot easier to work with, but then you're wasting a lot of rope. So try to cut a piece where it's still gonna be easy to work with, but not so much that you're wasting, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> so you're gonna fold it in half, you're gonna come under your existing rope, over the top, and you're gonna put the tails through the loop and pull. Pull it nice and tight. You can pull on both loops, I mean both edges. And then once you have it up to the rope, you can pull on each individual piece just to get it nice and tight. You're gonna do this going all the way down the rope, staying on the same side. So you want you don't wanna keep flipping your rope back and forth. You wanna just keep going all along in a row. That way it's all matching and all your knots are on the same side. Do this going all the way down. Put on a movie, put on your favorite music. This part's a little time consuming, but it's so worth it. So that's what it's gonna look like once you have it going all the way down the rope. So stinking cute. Oh my goodness. So right now, I'm taking it and I'm seeing how much more I need to add because like I said, this part is a little time consuming and tedious. So you don't wanna overkill here. <laughs> you wanna be able to stop when you're done <laughs> and not do too much. Um, I actually, even measuring this, I ended up doing just a little bit too much and I had to remove it, but that's okay. So keep going until you have done enough to cover your coaster. Okay, all the hard work is done now. So like I showed you how you wanted to do it all in the same row, that way all your knots are on the end or on the other side. So that's gonna be the back. So pick what side you like the best. I'm choosing this side because I had some black marks on the other side. Put those knots facing down and start hot gluing it. I opted to hot glue this piece to the coaster, not put the hot glue on the coaster. I just thought it was a much easier way to work with this and to keep going than to try to keep picking it up and gluing on the coaster. Um, and as you go, just use your fingers, just like you did in the first part, to kind of flatten that hot glue. It really does blend right in and you don't see it. So now we're just gonna add this decorative outside skirt or fray, or I don't know what to call it. <laughs> we're gonna add the cuteness to the outside. How's that? That's a good word. And just like we did with the coaster hot glue, do small sections at a time. Pull it taut to the coaster using your fingers to wipe off any of that excess glue. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now we're to the end where the two pieces come together. Just eyeball it, use your finger, and you're gonna wanna pull off any excess. Then you're gonna wanna take your hot glue gun and you're gonna finish gluing it to the coaster, but leaving that piece of rope that doesn't have any of the decorative cuteness on it. <laughs> and take that rope and start unbraiding it. Um, this works so much better than cutting this piece off because it just makes it one cohesive piece. It blends in with the rest of the coaster and you really can't tell where you started and where you finished by doing it this way. So cut, once you have it unbraided, cut it off to size to match the rest of it. And then I flipped it over to the back and I just added one more just tiny layer of hot glue all around and I took my silicone tool and came in and just smoothed it in. This is the back of your piece and really once it dries you cannot tell even on the back that you did this but it's going to help hold that bigger thicker part to your coaster. Now go grab somebody's comb in the house because <laughs> that's what I did don't tell my son and <laughs> start combing. You want to hold on to your coaster holding on to the thicker rope part with the fray on it that way it doesn't pull off where you hot glued it please tell me that made sense so just hold on to it so it's not pulling it off of your coaster there you go that's better and just start combing because this is such an important step and it really really just brings this piece to life it's so cute as you can see the difference and where I combed and where I didn't you this is a crucial step in cuteness I tell you <laughs> so keep going all around until and it's so soft and it's so fluffy oh my goodness I love it then just take your scissors and carefully go around and trim all of the edges so that they're all um perfectly well not perfectly nothing's perfect right just so they all match going all around so you don't have any long pieces and I just used a regular pair of scissors and went around and trimmed this cute little coaster up until I had it the size I wanted it this is where if you've used longer string of course you'd have to cut more off and I just thought by using somewhat the size I wanted it just wasn't wasting as much rope Look how cute that is. That looks like it was like macrame maybe or that, I don't know. It just blows my mind that this is rope and hot glue because <laughs> it's so cute. It does not look like it's just rope and hot glue, does it? And you can style this so many different ways. I'm going to make so many more of these because this was so much fun and I absolutely love this farmhouse coaster. I'm going to show you a few pictures of where I've put it and how to style this. But again, I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful Mother's Day. I love you all. Thank you for your love and support. If you like this video, hit that subscribe. If you really like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you really, really like it, share it on social media and with your friends. Have a blessed and wonderful day, y'all, and I'll see you next Friday, or next Sunday, not Friday, next Sunday. Bye, y'all.